is a touch of tarot. My name is Jen and I'm going to be pulling a random message for you. I don't know what it's going to be about. You know, I'd really like to look into the external factors of what's going on with your person because the last reading I posted was talking about friends, if you want to call them that. It is what it is. That's all part of the challenges of life, right? It's coming out yet. I think we're going to get into the friends. Hmm. Okay, so here we go. Yeah. It looks like it's very possible this person that you're dealing with may have plans to let at least two people go from their life. Um, two people that may depend on them. I feel like it's two people that are sucking their energy from them as well. You know, the interesting thing is, is these people act like they give everything to your person, but they have nothing to give. So it's very easy to give everything when you have nothing to give. Um, very interesting. Okay, let's see what's going on. So these could be people that this person works with, uh, maybe travels with. The Wheel of Fortune. For some reason, I feel like these are people that this person lives with, to be honest. So they could be taking care of people at home that act like they give everything, but they literally have nothing to give. So I don't know what else to say about that. This person looked the other way so many times about that, you know? Um, okay. But they didn't move. So why? Why didn't they move? I mean, it could be that they... So this is what I get, because I'm seeing the lover's card here, right? And I'm looking at the devil card. The, this person cared about these people at some point, okay? Uh, it could be because there's another person involved. So let's just say this person was married and extra family members came and moved in. So there was love, but it became a burden. It became stuck. And I feel like these people, what were they doing, right? What was all this stuff they were doing and giving to your person? Maybe they helped them out with some stuff around the house. <laughs> like, um, maybe they gave them some advice on what to do because they're experts at it, right? I don't know. Let's see what else we have here. Anyhow, this person turned their back many times. Um, this person would make up excuses most likely for these people. I feel like these people even argued with your person. Wow. I want to ask what your person did for them, but we already know because we already have this card here next to the four of wands. So your person was going to work every day, working their butt off to keep the household happy where there's these, I want to call them bloodsuckers, but whatever you want to call them, vampires, um, were there acting like they were giving something because... I don't know, maybe they cooked. I mean, I'm not saying it's not giving. I can just clearly feel these people purposely put themselves in a spot where they almost can't be released or couldn't at least, right? And your person was working his or her butt off every day thinking about this. This was in the back of their mind. And, you know, even if they don't want to admit that, that can actually cause health problems. So I'm not down with that. I don't agree with it. And there was nothing but lies in the household. This is clarifying the four of wands. I'll show you, I'll switch the camera before I go. Hopefully I'll remember so you can see this. But so it looks like we're learning about what's going on in the home. So why did your person move these people in? And we'll look into if they moved out. Oh, shoot, you're not gonna believe what came out. The king and queen of swords. So why did this person move these people in? Because it looks like it was a marriage situation, maybe an agreement. It looks like the queen is telling him like, they're coming, you know, they're coming in. Let's look into this queen. Hmm. The death card in reverse and the star card. So I have this, I don't know how to put what I, the vibe I just got. It's almost escaping me. It's like something, like they, they, she saved something at the last minute or something like that. Like she didn't let this, oh, so for some, this person, so I'm talking about the Queen of Swords here. There was an issue in the family, right? And I guess the Queen of Swords said they have to move in because someone's going to pass away or they're going to be ill or they live there. They're not going to get the help that they need. That can literally be that with the star card. It really can be kind of like a nurse energy or being in a, home where there's patients or 
people helping patients out, right? So just in the nick of time type of thing. And you know, I'm not putting anyone down. I understand family's most important. I just see that this other person here, the masculine energy in this case, was slaving by the looks of it and being lied to, deceived in the dark. And I just don't like that as a human. So King of Swords, let's talk about him. I just don't like it as a human. This person did what was right always. You know, you're dealing with someone who is very noble, who does the right thing. Um, I mean, this has to be over. <laughs> like, I'm not sure yet. We're going to look into it. But all the readings that come out are about things being over. This is so interesting to see how it's playing out. You have a queen of swords here who rushed this family member in or rushed someone in here. And you have a king who said, yes, okay, because I do what's right for the family. So I help the family out. And this made them a bit stuck because this is under the the devil it was almost like locking something in here for some i just got the message for some they've done paperwork they've sponsored these people they've got themselves in a whole slew of crap that they actually wish they could escape okay so where do we go from here what is going to happen what's going on in this household i want a little more what's going on in this household let's see Oh, well, we should have known. We didn't need to actually ask the question. I mean, there could be a child involved. This person could be trying to help them get on their feet, helping them maybe get to a new destination. For some of them, they probably are saying something like, oh, I'm going to get my stuff together and then I'm going to leave. Will these people ever leave? You know, like, that's a good question. You know, eventually they'll leave, but I feel it will be forced. Okay, I feel like it will be forced and I think that they will do anything they can to not leave here. So what's the relationship with the king and queen of swords? What is their relationship? Let's get a card for that. So we have the king of wands in reverse. That the only thing I'm getting from that right away, um, this person does not take the masculine does not take action towards the female here. Um, the, there's no sexual activity because like this person's probably overworked and turned off right king and queen of swords what is the energy between them so we do have the strength card so it's a odd situation i mean normally i would say oh that's great um oh my gosh i'm getting like downloads here this woman may be trying to fix things and make things seem okay um it's not happening. It's not going to happen. I really feel like for many of you, let's get a more, some more clarification on that. For many, I don't think there is that type of fun behavior happening between these two. Let's see what we got here. The magician. Well, I mean, I guess if you take one of those pills or something, it's very possible. Wow. Someone here is really trying to play games with that magician card I don't know I got a really weird feeling and even that pill thing that came in my mind I don't know what it's Viagra <laughs> Viagra I'm not making fun of anyone if you need it <laughs> look at what even Viagra is not enough even Viagra is not enough for this I swear to you because this is um a relationship that is surrounded with frustration and sabotage, ego, and even jealousy is written here. Thank you cards. I mean, that, I've never got a message like that. Even Viagra is not enough for this situation. Okay. So what is going to happen with this overworked person um, who's been giving all of their energy to this, you know, I do think eventually this person is going to be leaving the situation. There is going to be a change. We have another five here because how long can you stay like this? How long you see these cards? Not long, but this person tried, this person tried. Ooh, and there's the eight of cups. Eventually they'll be walking away. One reason this person stayed here is because there may have been a child watching or something like that. Oh my God, I have such an amazing story. If I remember this will happen. Okay. Let's see what's at the bottom. The tower just wants to stay in my hand. 
this will happen naturally. That's what this is saying. He wants to come back to you. This person is hoping you're still going to be there.